Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to Fun with Physical Chemistry. My name is Dr. Love. Today we want to make a super hydrophobic surface that even repels honey. A super hydrophobic surface must satisfy two conditions. It must be water repellent, hydrophobic, and it must be microscopically rough. A water droplet rests on such a surface like a fungi on a bed of nails. Both conditions are fulfilled in an ideal manner by the leaves of the lotus plant. Therefore, the effect of superhydrophobicity is also called the lotus effect. The lotus effect can also be produced artificially, just by making a rough water repellent surface. Maybe the easiest way to make this type of surface is depositing carbon soot from a candle or a lighter flame, for example, onto a glass light or onto a spoon. We thus obtain a surface on which not only water droplets bounce off, but also honey droplets don't stick to. What we need is a candle or a gas lighter and a heat resistant glass light, beaker or spoon. Just light the flame and keep the glass surface in the luminous part of the flame. The glass turns black slowly by deposited soot. Once the glass is homogeneously coated with soot, the hydrophobic surface is ready. The soot surface is not as stable as the surface of a lotus leaf, but water and honey droplets roll off of it. With the help of a hydrophobic knife, water or honey droplets can be cut into two smaller droplets. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.